3.4 number 1. Write an equation for the line shown. So here we have a line going through the point 0, 3, and it goes for another point up here. And it's nice that we have two distinct points because that's going to let us find a slope also. Because the, t the approach we want to use here is fill in the slope intercept form equation, y equals mx plus b. To do that, we need to figure out slope and use it as the coefficient of x. We need to find the y value of the y-intercept, which we already have right here. b is equal to 3. It's the y value of the y-intercept. So we're going to fill that in. All right, so already we have one piece of the equation. We have y equals mx plus 3, but we need to find out slope m. Now the slope is equal to change in y over change in x. So what we want to do is count going from one point to the next. How does the y value or the height change? How does the x value or the horizontal position change? And if we have a, a going up change is positive, to the right is positive. If we go down any time, it's a negative. Left is negative. So let's use the two points we have, starting from right here. The change in y would be 1, 2, 3, 4 positions, 4 units. So change in y goes on top. Change in x, the x position is right here, and that is going 1, 2, 3. So this is 3. Okay, so we went up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 thirds. We could use another point also. We could say, well, actually, there aren't any good ones that fall right into place. Here's one that's not too bad. This one is going right through the point there. We could say down, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, over to the left 3, 1, 2, 3, left 3 would be negative 3. That still gives us 4 thirds, right? Going there and there. But we went up 4, right 3, plus 4 over plus 3. Same thing. There's our slope. Now we know our slope and we know our b, so we plug them right into our equation. y equals m, slope, 4 thirds, times x, plus b, 3. And there's our equation. Let's try another one. 3.4 number 3. Find the slope-intercept equation of the line that has the given characteristics. Slope is minus 5 and y-intercept is 0, 4. Well, right away, remember, the y value of the y-intercept is b, so b equals 4. Slope is always given the, the letter m. Fill in the slope-intercept form of the equation. So y equals m is minus 5, minus 5x, plus b. b is a positive 4. And there we go. We have our answer.